Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm in the mood to make a castle. So let's get cracking. Friends, we will be working in my dot SketchUp. If you check the description of this video, there will be a link that'll get you in there almost immediately. If it's your first time, I recommend signing in with Google. Now that we're here, friends, I want you to click this down arrow, and we want to create with decimal millimeters. Upon launching, let's name our project. Once again, we click, choose this. We're gonna type castle. And then I also like to put my initials and hit save. This gentleman has shown us how big the world is. We can click on him and hit delete on the keyboard. Friends, remember SketchUp is a click and release program. I'm gonna show you my hands a lot as I work through this. I'm also gonna remind you after you watch a piece of the video, always click this tab so that your shortcuts go where they're supposed to. The first shortcut we're gonna use is R for rectangle. I want you to click the origin and then I want you to tap control, which is a modifier that makes it go around the middle. Then type in space 500 comma 500 and press enter. It'll automatically show up on the bottom of your screen. You just type it, press enter. It'll probably be tiny. I want you to click this little button right here and choose zoom to extents and you'll have a better view of your cool square that you just created. Friends, let's press O for orbit so we can look at it from above. I'm also gonna roll the wheel back so I've got a little different view. I'm gonna remind you again, click the tab if you're having trouble with that. And the shortcut we're gonna use now is C for circle. Click any corner and I want you to let go and type 75 and press enter. These are gonna be the parapets that we're gonna put around our castle. Click the other one, type 75 and press enter. Click the third one, 75 and press enter. Click the fourth one and once again, let go. Type 75 and press enter. If you make a mistake, you can always do undo. Now that we've got this done, E is for erase and I want you to erase these little lines just like this, pop, 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 pop. And do notice we're clicking with the tiny little circle on the end of the eraser. I have noticed that that is something that sometimes students miss. And if you click on a corner, it does both at once. If you miss, you just have to do them one at a time. Friends, when you've got it like that, press your spacebar to go to the select tool. Click the middle, press F for offset. Click on those lines and once again, let go. And when you drag it out, check it out, it makes the walls of your castle. Find the spot that you think is cool, click and set it down, hit the space bar, click the middle, and press delete. You have just made the outside of your castle. Let's hit save so we don't lose it. Press that space bar once again, click the middle. P for push pull, and let's lift that up. Notice mine says about 250. I'm actually gonna type 225 and press enter for how tall I want that to be. Now I wanna make a second layer, so I'm gonna hit push pull again, click on this line, and I'm gonna tap control, and notice it lifts up with a line in it. Now this one, I'm gonna go up 100. If you go up a little different, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. We just want two sections of our castle wall. Friends, this next trick is amazing. Space bar, and I want you to double click on the wall. Notice it selects the middle and the outside, and we're gonna press S for scale. We don't wanna scale one corner, we wanna scale the whole thing. So if you look down here, it tells us if we tap control, it goes around the middle. That red line shows up, we can stretch it out a little bit, and boom, when we hit O for orbit, now we can check out our castle with its sweet sloped walls. How cool is that? All right, friends, so we have a fantastic castle. Now we need to add the little parts on top that help protect it. We're gonna click this tab again just because it's a good idea. Press space bar, and we want to not have those selected, but we do wanna zoom in on them. We're gonna press R for rectangle, and I'm gonna go to this edge, and I wanna make a rectangle that goes a little bit across. We are going to make a bunch of these with a very cool trick. So make sure you've zoomed in so you can make that half rectangle. Switch to your space bar. Double click so it's got the outside and the inside. And then make sure you've got your mouse on that shape. Do right click and you need to make it a component. If you miss this step, it doesn't work. I'm gonna put BM here and tell it okay so that we save this as a component. Now that's fantastic because we're gonna use it again and again and again in a very fast way. So we hit M for move, and we wanna grab this corner right here, and we wanna put a copy all the way to this side. 
Well, remember, as you're moving, you can tap control and it makes a copy. Click and set it down. Take your hands off the mouse. Hit the divided by key on the keyboard. I'm gonna guess that I can fit six there. You can guess your own number and press enter and check it out. It puts them all the way across the project in an instant. This is awesome because we're gonna reuse those components a little bit later. We're gonna do one more trick, spacebar. We're gonna make this a group of components. So hold down shift and click on each one. You'll have probably more or less than me, it doesn't matter. But once you've got them all selected, right click on them and choose make group. All right, friends, once again, don't forget to click that tab when you're going back and forth between the video. I'm gonna do space bar and click on that group. You wanna make sure that they all show up. And then I'm gonna take this corner right here and I'm gonna move it straight across. If we do M for move, it starts moving. If we can see the green line or the red line dependent, that means we're moving it straight. I'm gonna tap control so it's a copy. And then as I zoom in, I wanna click right on that edge. Boom, we've got two of them done. Let's click the space bar. Let's hold down shift and click on both of those. Once again, we are gonna do M for move. This time I'm gonna go from this corner I'm going to tap control so it's a copy and I'm going to set it out here to the side. I'm going to take those two now and I want to make them a group. I'm going to just do shift select and then I'm going to right click on one of them and make it a group. This gives me the sweet handle so that when I hit M, I can click on the little rotation and if I go inside the protractor, it's super easy to get that 90 degree move. Then I can grab this corner and I can drop it right on my castle, right where it needs to be. Just like that, pop, pop. All right, friends, keep an eye on your neighbors. If you're in a classroom, that was the trickiest thing we're gonna do, but watch why it's awesome. At this point, if I go back to this group and I double click, I'm in it, I'm editing it. If we double click again, we are editing the component. If we do push pull, we can then lift that up and they all lift up at once. This is what is so cool about making components and then the groups made it easy to move our components. I'm gonna hit L for line and I'm gonna draw a little line on this battlement. Notice it shows up on all of them. I'm gonna do push pull. I'm gonna push that back to the edge and I'm gonna push that back to the edge. Notice I'm moving the little red arrow to the edge of it so that I click and bam, our battlements are now complete. While I'm in here, I'm gonna hit space bar and I'm gonna triple click. So now every single bit of them is selected. If you miss, like it looks like I might've, I'm gonna just triple click again, one, two, three. Now you can see it is completely selected. Here's the other bonus of components. If you pick a color, like I'm gonna go to materials and I'm gonna go to bricks and cladding. If I paint this one, Bam, they all get painted at once. If I pick a different one, I can paint them all at once. Now, because our castle is small, the textures aren't showing up, but it does make it faster when it works like this. To cancel out your edit, hit the space bar and click out here in space so that you can then see how awesome your castle is becoming. Friends, once again, I'm gonna remind you, click the tab, let's hit O for orbit. Let's find that red line, because that is the front of our castle. And I want you to do R for rectangle. Move down to the midpoint and start making a rectangle. We want it to go around the edges, so we're gonna tap control. So it's doing that modifier. So we're gonna make a door. When you click, we're gonna hit E for erase and get rid of the parts underneath. And then we're also gonna do a two point arc. This is a new one, we're gonna click up here and we want the second arc. And I just want you to click on the first end point, click on the second end point, and then raise it up a little bit and you'll find one spot where it has that blue on the face mark and you can click and set it down. Hit E for erase, get rid of that middle piece. And then the back of our castle, we're gonna look at this from underneath. See how this edge is right here? If we do space bar, click the door, P for push pull. We can now pull that back. And if you click with the little red arrow on the end point, you have just cut out your awesome castle door. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna hit space bar. 
I'm gonna triple click my castle, one, two, three, so it is all selected. And I'm gonna switch to colors to make a cool color for my castle. I'm gonna make it an odd green, just cause I want to. Friends, at this point, you can click with your select tool, you can hit save, and your project is complete. Congratulations on learning some awesome skills, practicing your shortcuts, getting used to letting go of the mouse, and making awesome projects. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, maybe even hit that share button so more people can learn about SketchUp Made Simple. Of course, if you have a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you wanna be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.